Well, we are gearing up for a total solar eclipse event here in Northeast Ohio. In fact, a lot of us are getting excited to see how the forecast is going to play out. But if you're curious of when the last total solar eclipse was in the great state of Ohio, you actually have to go back to June 16th of 1806 to see the last time a total solar eclipse was seen in our state. However, there was a total solar eclipse in parts of northern Pennsylvania back in 1925, but likely a little bit of a stretch that many of us were still alive when that total solar eclipse happened or even could remember it at that point. So let's walk you through an event that actually happened not too long ago. Some of you, if you were alive a little earlier in time, you will remember this back in the mid 90s, May 10th, there was a solar eclipse event that occurred across parts of Northeast Ohio. Now it occurs the same way a regular solar eclipse would where you have the moon that's passing between the sun and the earth. So it does create that eclipse appearance. But the difference is that you're not totally covering up the sun. You'll notice that during this event, only 89.03% of the sun was covered by the moon. Now the duration of when it was at its peak during this event did last about four minutes and 50 seconds, but you couldn't actually directly stare up at it because you still had what's called a ring of fire that was noted with that annular eclipse. Unless you are in the path of totality and the sun is completely blocked out by the moon, you have to make sure you're wearing that eye protection. So we will be under a partial eclipse leading up to and after we get through that total solar eclipse or what we call totality. And you do need to have to make sure that you have that proper eye protection on. But when we're talking about an annular eclipse, you still aren't completely covering up the sun. And what's happening is the moon was actually in its farthest point away from the earth. It was a new moon, but it just wasn't quite big enough in the sky to completely cover up that sun. So you still had that ring of fire effect kind of interesting. So if you remember that back in the mid 90s and you say, I know there was something that happened where we had that solar eclipse event. That's what it was. It was an annular eclipse. And again, it did pass across parts of Northeast Ohio on May 10th back in 1994, but it wasn't a total solar eclipse. And of course, we are all looking forward to that come April 8th. Good explanation there, Erica. Hey, a reminder, 19 News hosting a watch party with the Lake Erie Crushers. It's called Lights Out in the Land. Just scan that QR code on your screen for tickets.